it up. Crank it up. <laughs> All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Don Davis Luxury Realty Show. It's your host, Don Davis of DDLRG Luxury International Real Estate Broadcasting Live from 100.7 FM KKHT, sunny South Houston, Texas on an Easter Sunday. We have a special guest on the show today and it's no, no, uh, no other but our, our special client that we help, helped transition in the oil and gas industry to Houston, Texas the author Timmy Fagotti and she is no stranger to storms at all as a matter of fact she's going to go ahead and give us her background and her introduction welcome Timmy how are you today I'm great and yourself happy I'm Easter happy <laughs> Easter yes Jesus rose today for our sins okay. and, and now we are back at it like oh, Tiger yes. Woods we're back at it oh, like yeah. Tiger Woods so we bounce back, <laughs> we bounce back. and we're so alive. we're alive so that's what we definitely want to celebrate not mm -hmm. only the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ on this Easter Sunday, uh, but we also want to go back on and reflect on some testimonies that you've shared uh, since you've been an author and some situations where you found yourself uh, with the odds stacked against you, uh -huh. but you were able to overcome through the blood of the Lamb. So go ahead and give us an introduction. Who are you, Timmy? Where are you from? How did you get to Houston? And kind of help, help us elaborate for the audience. Hi everyone, happy Easter, happy resurrection. Like Don said, I'm Tammy Fagardi. Um, I've lived in so many countries, so we pronounce the surname differently. There's Fagardi, if I was in, um, back in Scotland. It's Fagaji when I lived in Brazil. And here, some say Fagade. I'm originally from Nigeria, there we say Fagade. Like he said, I'm Nigerian and I'm an author. I'm a Christian, I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, I'm a survivor of so many things, and most importantly, I'm a writer, I'm an author now. Okay, okay, and then I want to kind of elaborate on how we met, but you, I also have to throw this in there for my Nigerian audience. She's also a Wena from Wena's Chapel. <laughs> so, so what's the uh, pastor's name at the Winner's Chapel as well? That's Bishop David Oyedipo. Bishop David Oyedepo from Winners Chapel in Lagos, Nigeria, one of the most prominent bishops in the on, on the earth. Uh, so, Papa, Papa, Papa. So, uh, so tell us a little bit about how you transitioned here, how we met, and then how God kind of lined everything up for us to become friends and for us to continue to inspire each other in our, in our gifts that God has given us. Oh yes. Um, well, like he rightly said, we we moved into Houston. July 2017 and in the course of looking for accommodation we lived in a particular place around Pinoak in Katy and um, we were actually neighbors so to say I mean we're done but I didn't realize he was into, into properties or into the estates and one day when my husband was just walking around just having I could just having a stroll and Dawn in his typical way just reached out to my husband they have a chat and one thing led to the other and you know, he introduced himself, his profile, what he did, and as a whole, oh, we're actually looking for a place of our own. We're trying to get a house, and but we just stuck from there. And that's that's kind of <laughs> ironic because here they are. They were my neighbors. I did not realize that they just, you know, basically found a place to settle in at least for a little bit before they found their permanent place. Mm -hmm. And they didn't realize I specialize in oil and gas relocation. Mm -hmm. So it was a great fit that God crossed our paths together. But I also like to talk about you not being a stranger to storms. If you notice, she said she moved here July of 2017. Uh -huh. I don't know if y'all remember what happened at the end of August of 2017. But go ahead and share on your 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 welcome to Houston weather. <laughs> it was a rude welcome for us. We moved in and that was when you had the mighty hurricane. Yes, you know, we Hurricane moved into, Harvey. Uh, uh, yes, Hurricane Harvey. The mighty Hurricane Harvey. We moved in and we were just ignorant about hurricanes. Not because we hadn't seen them on TV or heard stories, but we didn't know what to look out for when we were trying to get a place. And we moved in there and then the hurricane just happened and my God, it's, it's a story that left, you know, not told now. But you know, the beauty of it was that God specializes in making a message even out of a mess. Exactly. I was so glad that it was in that same community where we lived. That was where we met Don. And you know, while trying to look around after that experience, it was so difficult to know where to trust, where to go in getting a house. 
and then we met him and for some reason it just clicked exactly. the confidence just built up like that and I can actually tell you now that we have a place of our own a place that I don't like but a place that I love yes and thanks to Don Yes, yes. With that. And, and it was very important to us because I know you guys were kind of shell shocked. So uh -huh. I noticed every house I showed them, and you say, "Don, did it flood over here? Yeah. Don, did it flood over here? <laughs> Don, I, how far is this from a uh, sea level?" You know, I was like, "Okay, the best thing to do is ask the neighbors, get familiar with the areas of drainage, find out from your insurance company mm -hmm. is it inside the FEMA 100-year fl floodplain or the 20-year floodplain? Things like that are very important to people transitioning to the area. But then also, she found out that I like Nigerian." food and she made some of the best uh the best fufu the best effon i mean just everything egusi everything everything <laughs> and I, I love the egusi i love the spices i tell everybody my great great grandfather has to be nigerian because once i ate nigerian food i have not been able to eat everything else he's actually uh, from the east he's Igbo. i'm Igbo. they say i must be Igbo based on work ethic and the ability to smile and talk yeah. to strangers so we we always look for the positive in every situation if, yeah. if that is my ancestor's rule and also I wanted to talk about how you in your book uh -huh. um, wrote on a situation where your husband had been laid off and in the, instead of throwing a pity party you threw another kind of party how was yeah. that and they, that was in the not strangers to storms book I love that one. and by the way she's gonna tell y'all where you can find these books where you can purchase these books the audio version the Kindle online but share about that chapter because I know a lot of times when people uh, mm -hmm. get laid off they become negative a lot of uh, relationships go through more tension when they get laid off but mm -hmm. what, what did God tell you to do in that particular situation um, well Don was actually referring to the year 2010 and that was I think it was exactly October um, we lived in Brazil then where my husband was working we got transferred there and we had lived there for about two years plus and all of a sudden there was just this shaking at work and he got fired and the first thing that came to my mind was Lord you're not gonna drop me in the middle of the sea are you yes. and from nowhere the faith just rose up and I realized that I am actually a priest a king and a priest unto God and he called me, like the book of First Peter says, to be a peculiar person. Yes. I'm unique in every way. I'm different. Set up. When the world is thinking this way, I should be thinking the other way. Because normally when you're transformed by the renewing of your mind, you see from a different perspective. Yeah. The God perspective. And so it was really getting sorrowful at home. It was so morose. Everybody was down. We didn't know where to turn. And from nowhere, the faith just rose up from within me. And it was like, if you're really going to have the joy of the Lord, you need to keep the atmosphere charged as well. There must be joy, there must be praise, no morose, no sadness. And from nowhere, this crazy idea just came up in my head. Let's have a party. It's actually his birthday in two days' time. And we had lots of Brazilians, our friends coming around, and they came into out of curiosity. It was like, are they really having a party? He just yes. lost his job. These people are crazy, they, you know. <laughs> and they sang so many songs with were like um sorrowful songs, but Somewhere the joy just welled up from inside. There yes. was hope renewed, there was faith being birthed, and I think it really impacted them there. And in a short time, you might just mention this, in less than a month, he got another job. Exactly. In so, the same location. So we're going to go to our first break. I want to let that marinate. If you ever in a situation where you get negative news, if it's your Friday and not your Sunday, if, you, uh, if it's Friday night when Jesus was in the tomb and you find that life is dark all around you, mm. Don Davis Real Estate Show, we have client testimonials that will show you just because it's dark on Friday mm. doesn't mean that Sunday's not coming. Oh, yes. So you oh, let yes. your faith run your atmosphere mm. and that same faith open the door for another yes. job for your husband oh, yes. and you guys are now doing better than ever yes. let's go ahead and go to a break remember love's going to get you ddlrg luxury international real estate love where you live uh, and uh, let's go ahead and go to a break i am don davis of ddlrg luxury international real estate and when it's time to make a business decision about your residence please keep in mind it's a don deal you want to excel uh don davis is a great guy to work for I mean, he, he, he's, a, he's a great teacher and a great leader. He's more than family. He's the guy that's actually helping me roll. I didn't know anybody when I moved out here. He's the guy rolling his sleeves up saying, come on, let's go move what you got to move. When it's time to make a business decision about your residence, it's a Don deal. Don Davis Real Estate Show, welcome back. Welcome back to DDLRG Luxury International Real Estate Show, where we're broadcasting live this Easter Sunday, remembering remembering uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, 
John 3 is 16. In the beginning, uh, excuse me, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever should believe in him shall have eternal life. So we definitely want to make sure that you realize God so loved, so he gave. Mm -hmm. And so you got to be willing to give to receive. Speaking of that, I also want to give a shout out to Toby Nwigwi, Linnell Grant, Fat, Corey Grant, and them for giving back, making purpose, purpose popular, selling merch, not music. A great concert at the White Oak Music Hall last night. Uh, Toby Nwigwi put him on your radar. He is also Nigerian, but born and raised here, so he's second generation Nigerian. And uh, you definitely want to definitely want to follow Toby Nwigwi, who's making purpose popular, reaching reaching the audience that some of us can't reach. You know, I'm I'm 45 now, so I'm old school. But it's, uh, Toby and those guys, they're 30, so they got to reach the youth. And how they reach the youth is through the energy and love of Jesus Christ. They have the youth singing scriptures and the youth don't even know they're singing scriptures. That's pretty good when you can do that. When I can make the youth sing scripture, and they're like, well, what? Tabernacle? What is that? Sound good, though. It's got a good beat, Tabernacle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and I definitely can't wait till he goes to Lagos. That's when he's really going to show, uh, show his homeland, what he's doing over here in the United States. And uh, once again... Special uh, special guest, Arthur Timmy Bagatti. You also are working on another, actually you've completed your second book. It's called Parables and Encounters. I haven't had a chance to really dig into it like the other one, but I did see one with, uh, did it say Messy Kitchen or something like that? The Messy Kitchen. The Messy Kitchen. Go ahead and elaborate on the Messy Kitchen, because you know, I sell houses. Don Davis Real Estate Show, we're all about kitchens, baths, and curb appeal, and, and, and the women make the decision when it's time to buy a home, so you definitely want to make sure, if you have your home listed for sale, that your kitchen is not messy. So please, <laughs> elaborate on that. Give it's us not what you think at all. <laughs> well, here comes the story. I'll try to summarize. It was um, the summer of 2007 in Aberdeen, Scotland, where we lived before we moved to Brazil. And we had this women's program in church. I needed to attend. I was part of the executives in the church. And I just spoke with my husband and the kids to help with this shopping because the house was virtually empty. And while they were shopping, I was away in church. And I came back home. Everything they bought for me was just in the kitchen, a.m. till p.m. when I returned. The meat was all torn, the chicken and... You know, when it's summer day, it was really, really hot that particular season. And my kitchen was all messed up. Right from the door when I walked in, I could smell it. I was like, what is going on? And there was my husband with the kids in the sitting room, having fun watching their favorite movie and programs. And, and I was like, what is this all about? But I didn't want to flare up in front of the kids. So I cleaned up, I mopped the board and everything. I stuffed everything properly away. And then when I went upstairs, the volcano was about to erupt. Uh -huh. And my husband walked in, you know, he just really wasn't bored and was like, and he kept on talking and I just gave him answers in monosyllables. And I was like, what's wrong? And that was when the volcano really erupted. Yes. But that very night, I had a visitation from the Lord. And God was like, add to your faith virtue. Virtue. Add to your faith virtue. Yes. You've been in church all day, morning till evening. And then you came back flaring up. I mean, what's... What's it really all about? What's the connection? What did you gain from church? Where is the Christ-like nature I expected of you? Where is your role, the submission, the respect as a woman? You know, and that very night I had a real dealing with the Lord. I was so guilty of everything. I had to apologize. And from there, the Lord started to teach me about the difference between spirituality and religiosity. Wow. I had to know the difference between really having the mind of Christ I could have made an excuse for them. Maybe they wanted me to arrange it the way I wanted the kitchen to be done. Maybe I needed to have explained in details. Yeah. When you do the shopping, stock the house instead of flaring up. So that's what it's really all about. It's about differentiating between when you really have the mind of Christ or when you just go to church. Does the word really work in you? Do you walk the word? When you look at the mirror of the word, what do you see? Do you just read or you forget? Yeah. Basically, do you, that's do what you the best implement. Thing. Do you implement? And so definitely you want to pick up this book, Parables and Encounters. Also, show them that book as well. No Stranger, Not a Stranger to Storms. Both of these books can be found on Amazon. I've also cut and pasted a link on my Facebook page uh, for our audience out there. You definitely want to pick up a copy of those faith-inspired books that are definitely not religious books, but they're definitely implemented uh, trial and error books where you've seen God perform over and over in your life. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, 
I know we're having a lot of Easter uh, barbecues and parties today, and I have a, a wide range of audience, but uh, at that wide range of audience, I have some old Texas Baptist Christians that listen to our show as well, mm -hmm. and it's a song called Clean Up What I Messed Up, Start My Life All Over Again. That, to me, that sounds Amen. like a, a messy kitchen right mm -hmm. there. You got to clean up what you didn't messed up and start mm -hmm. your life all over again. Another mm -hmm. one of my favorite Texan barbecue preachers is uh, Bishop Bullwinkle. He has a song called Hail to the Now, and it definitely is a good song for our youth to understand that you got to tell hell no, you're not going to walk in and out the church and be the same person mm -hmm. when you leave. Oh, yes. We're going to go ahead and go to another break, and we're going to talk about some of our listings. Yeah, we do have to go ahead and advertise a little bit of what's out there. We don't expect you to go look at them today, but you can look online and oh, yeah. love where you live, uh -huh. DDLRG. Let's go ahead and go to a break. Okay. <laughs> DDLRG Luxury International Real Estate Don Davis Luxury Realty Group. Uh, feel free to visit our website, our website anytime at viewallusinhomes.com. Special guest in the studio today, author Timmy Fagatti. She's no stranger to storms, and she has parables of encounters that uh, where she definitely is becoming transparent and letting you know that the importance of implementation and not just being religious mm -hmm. actually walking out in what you uh, what you learn at church and what you read about to implement that stuff to get the best ROI from Jesus Jesus Christ yeah Jesus Christ gives returns on investments as well mm -hmm. in case people didn't realize uh -huh. that <laughs> so if you invest some time in the word your, your life will definitely will be blessed Please. I want to go ahead and help some of our clients out because our clients are praying to sell their properties and we definitely want to go ahead and operate and our gift. Uh, the first client I want to help out is I, I listed at 10407 Viscount Landing Drive. That's in the beautiful master plan community of Aliana. The beautiful master plan community of Aliana. They have a brand new 24 hour fitness sports uh, sports uh, fitness center being built right there. They also have a center court pizza and it's zoned to some great high, uh, great schools like Fort Bend Travis, a great elementary school and middle school as well. It's a 3,370 square foot one story home. Uh, Miss Timmy, you would love it. It's a four bedroom, three bath, but I know you just sold your house, so I, I'm going to lay off of you. <laughs> I have faith. I can buy another one. You can buy another one. You can and actually I buy. trust you. Yes, so. yes, you can buy as many as you'd like. As a matter of fact, uh, that's another uh, segment we'll touch on it later as far as being a landlord and also owning investment property because it's a great ROI there as well instead of investing uh, in mutual funds and things like that. With slow money, what we call slow money. You want a uh, low risk, low return, high risk, high return. So uh, one 0407 Viscount Landing, 3,370 square foot, one story home on over a quarter acre lot. J. Patrick Custom Home going for just 449995. It's a four bedroom, three bath, one story home, two patios, a covered patio with an outdoor kitchen capability. I mean, this home just, it just is beautiful. Look at the virtual tour on our website. Uh, the attention to detail on the uh, interior designing on this home is a great home. And then also, I want to go ahead and talk about. 27923 Bradford Ridge. 27923 Bradford Ridge. That's Firethorn Subdivision, gated community. Uh, former model home, by the way. It's a 4,100 square foot former model home. And that's a five bedroom, three bath. That's going for uh, 41, that's uh, 4,100 square feet going for 500,000. So 4,100 square feet going for 500,000. Another beautiful property as well. Uh, that's military owned and operated. So you know it's attention to detail in that property as well. And then the next one we have is at 3811 Walker Falls. 3811 Walker Falls, that's in Churchill Farm subdivision. That's a one and a half story with a media room and a guest bedroom on on the second level, great for entertaining, uh, three-car garage, 70-foot uh, lot, 
located uh, right there in Churchill Farms in Fulcher, Texas. So it's convenient to both uh, 1093 and also I-10. So you're stuck right in the middle of both. That way, if you have to stay at home, you don't have to worry about any traffic. But if you had to come into town, you could shoot right down the West Park Tollway. And then we also have uh, 6910 Spring Run Lane. That's in the Grand Lake subdivision. That's just marked down to 619995. That's a 5,170 square foot home. So those are our top five. Those are our top five properties. You're talking about luxury within reach. These prices range anywhere from 400,000 to right at 700,000. We have 7827 Bobbitt Heights in the Spring Branch area. That's a, a Frank uh, a Frank Lou custom home, which is I uh, love it in town custom home these houses are getting showings guys so if you want to make an offer you better hurry up i don't want you to miss out and also want you to go ahead and enjoy your easter so i'm not saying you have to schedule a showing today but mm -hmm. i also want you to go ahead and schedule a showing either with our office or your agent whoever you work with sometime this week uh, once again my name is don davis of ddlrg luxury international real estate uh, miss timmy go ahead and tell them exactly how they can get in touch with you uh, what other projects you're currently working on and where you attend church. I just want them to know a little bit more about you so our Nigerian followers and our American followers can know exactly that she's no stranger to storms and she has parables and encounters that are going to help you in your life. I want to say something about this book, about this book, Not a Stranger to Storms. I want to say the two books are actually real life stories. They're my stories, they're real. Their encounters I've had, their stories about various triumphs and diverse victories that I've been through. This particular one talks about issues I had um, when I had ovarian cancer, how the Lord helped me to overcome. The and Lord. there's one particular story here that I think will interest everyone. It's a story that we could relate so much with Easter. And that was when I had what I would call a spiritual appendectomy. You know, I, um, that was back in Nigeria during my college days. I had been born again. I had learned to believe God to grow my faith. And at a point in time, it just happened that there was, I, I, I just want to use the word attack. You know, mm -hmm. everybody was going through a pandemic to me. My family, my sisters were all undergoing. My mother went. All my siblings, the three of them. And all of a sudden, I started feeling this sharp pain myself. And I was like, wow, I'm different. I'm born again. Mm -hmm. I, this can't happen to me. And I remember 1 John 5 verse 4 that says, Whatsoever is born of God, overcometh the world. Yes. And just at the point where my parents were like, don't get fanatical, you need to get this thing done, it's risky, it's dangerous. That very morning when I was scheduled to have my appendectomy taken off, I was like, Lord, if you're real, if you're faithful, you're going to honor my faith, you're going to show up for me. And that particular day, I had a visitation, I had two angels come into the room. They came in through the roof, they were so big. I couldn't move, I was electrified yeah. to the bed, and it was more like there was this archy thing they just placed around my tummy. They did it twice, and thereafter I was, I felt so well, I didn't feel any pain again. And then I got to the hospital, they checked, there was nothing. And one thing that one of the angels said to me that day, I believe so much in the ministry of angels, he said, the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead has yes. quickened your mortal body. Exactly. And that is what Easter is all about. So I'm saying to you out there, you need to build your faith. You need inspiring books like this, real life stories, real life encounters. And I trust that as you believe, the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead, that quickened me, will quicken you as well. It, and, and I want to touch on that. So people always want to know, hey, Don, Don, we see your business growing, DDLRG, your agents are so professional. Everybody is so, uh, so good at what they do. What is your secret? Mm. Well, our secret is we have intercessors like Miss Timmy. So while I'm showing you how she's she's praying for us, while I'm doing this, my wife is praying for us. And anybody who has a business, you need somebody praying for you while yes. you're out there, oh, yes. because like you said, there are uh, there are attacks to, designed to try to stop what God has has set forth. Oh, yes. But as we saw last night through the Toby and the Wick Week concert, that what God has uh, promised, no man can stop. Mm. So you definitely mm. want to make sure you have a prayer life. Oh yes, at any type of business you do. Uh, we have about 30 seconds left. Anything else you'd like to add before we go ahead and wrap it up for Easter and go eat? Yes. I, just, <laughs> I just want to say God is real. God is faithful. God is interested in every aspect of our lives. But there is a condition. You need to know him. You need to give your life to him. You need to have an encounter with him. And like he said, I live in Houston. I'm a writer. I'm an author. I'm a living testimony that this God is interested in healing. 
Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. So welcome back. You're gonna be you're gonna be coming back. We'll be coming yes, back sir. and we're coming back. See you later. Sorry, ran out of time. There's a good show. See you next time. <laughs>